All right, good evening again, everyone. Let me first once again apologize for the delay in the starting of the recording. As I have informed you, I am using my cell phone since Zoom was not launching from my device. So Harmony, can you once again share with us you are riddle for the class? Okay, miss. Once again, my riddle is how many seconds are in a year? Miss, I have an answer. Miss, you're muted. Yes, can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, yes, miss. All right, so Rachel has her hand up, just waiting on Jaden and Dante. So once you do have your response, just please go ahead as Rachel has done before. She has raised her hand, giving you a minute more and then Harmony, you can go ahead and lead out in accepting your responses from Rachel and rest of your classmates, okay? Okay, miss. All right, so one more minute. Do you all have your final answers? Yeah. It seems that way. It seems that way, Harmony. So you can go ahead. Okay, Jaden, you can go ahead with your answer. Um, all right, I'm going to guess and say it has to be in a million, right? So more than a million. Um, tw 29 million? No. no sorry. Would you like to try again? Can I just go up? <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Do you give up? No, 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 no. I don't give up yet. I never give up. All right. Harmony, remember you can ask your other um, classmates before you reveal the answer, okay? Okay, miss. Um, while Jaden is doing that, Rachel, would you like to answer? Okay, so um, my answer is 12. And um, the reason I said 12 is because um, there is um, two seconds of each month or something. Is there anyone else who would like to give another answer? Oh, wait, can I give another answer, please? Okay. Um, okay, so, um, is either what I just said or 31,536, something close to there. Okay, anyone else? Yes, I'd like to try again. Hold on, Jaden. Yes. Dante, oh, oh, Dante oh. has a response. Yes, yeah, so Dante can go ahead first before Jaden um, tries again. Are you hearing miss? Yes, my dear, we're hearing. Uh, I think it's 10,565, 10, miss. Is that all your final answers? No, I have one more. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna say 30 million point numbers. Final answer, everyone? Yeah, that's my final answer. Okay, so the answer is what Rachel had on her first try, 12, because you have January 2nd, February 2nd. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Is it? Oh, 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 I know. Oh, my God. So, so yeah. Rachel, good, good one. Um, Rachel, good. That was indeed a good response. Harmony, that was a good riddle. Real good one. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> you are welcome. So I am still trying to switch out, but I'm not sure how the, that is working. So right now, what I'm going to do, I may have to, let's see. I'm going to see if I can try to just switch out my devices. So I will just go ahead and share with you right now. I know uh, Dante and Rachel, you are here with us last week and yesterday, but I want you to give this Google link a try. It is, uh, it's just an item that has, it's a little quiz that has to do with directed numbers. It has, uh, I'm looking at it from <laughs> on my laptop. It has uh, nine, nine questions or is it 10? I think it's 10 questions. Is it from so quizzes? To, no, not quizzes. It's gonna be a Google form. Because what I'm doing now, as I said, I'm just trying to, ideally I wanted to send this everything from my laptop, but as you can see, that's not working out so well. So I'll just share the link. Luckily for us, I had already sent the link to my email. So I'm able to get it from there. And while you do the, the you know, 10 items, I will be able to, or should have switched out my devices already. So I am about to share the link. Once you have seen the link, please just go ahead and try. All right, so I am sending the link now. Please let me know once you're seeing the link. Miss Asit. Miss Asit. All right, so please go ahead and complete the items. As I said, it's just 10 questions. Let me double check if the, the file is able to accept responses. Yes, so you are able to go ahead and start. If there are any difficulties, please let me know. And as I have said, you may not be, some of you may not be familiar with the topic, but I want you to try it still as it will give me an understanding of where you are in your respective groups. All right, I'm going to be off camera for about two minutes while I switch out my devices. Okay, everyone?
okay? How are we uh, coming along? It's fine so far, Miss. All right, great. Rachel, what about you? And Dante, what about you? How are you both coming along? Miss, I'm fine. You're fine? All right, great. I'm coming Dante. along fine, Miss. Excellent, excellent. All right, I'm seeing someone responding already. Let me see, let me see. Uh, who was that? That was, oh no, oh yes, I see who it was. All right, good job. How many were you able to see your score? Yes, miss, I'm looking over. All right, great. So now waiting on Jaden, waiting on Rachel and waiting on Dante. All right, is anyone else finished? Miss, I'm almost done. Also okay, great. almost done, Miss. Excellent. Jaden, what about you? Uh, miss, I'm almost finished as well. Okay, great. Something. All right, great. All right, so I'm about to switch out now so as we can go directly to the PowerPoint. So let me just say once again, Harmony, thank you very much for your riddle. 
Uh, now I'm going to look at the okay. Now I'm going to look at your scores, and then we we will do our final discussion on directed numbers. Yes, it doesn't show which ones they got correct or not. <laughs> That's fine. I'll, I'll be able to share that with you once we review. Oh, I don't know what, what I did wrong. You were able to see your score, right? Yes, yes. All right, guys, give me two minutes, please. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just quickly switch out as we can see, because everyone has now responded. So I'm going to have us look at the questions. Well, the summary of the responses, okay? okay. Is that all right with everyone? Yes. yes. Right. So I'll just quickly share. All right, let me turn the camera around now. Uh, go to... All right, are you able to see my screen? Yes. Yes, miss. All right, so... Yes. I'm going to show you now the summary. Because what this summary does, all right, so your first question, so what I can say is that based on how the four of you responded, we have, this is our distribution. So pretty much everyone did well in this assessment. Recording in progress.
Miss with one of the um with one of your uh, with one of your uh what would you say? Can you hear me, everyone? Yes, Miss. Miss. Miss, are you hearing me? Yes, yes. I can hear you, Jaden. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm on a, a device that I'm not even familiar with, but I'm trying to, <laughs> to see how best this can work. All right. Okay, so looking at your feedback, Let me just quickly share that with you. <laughs> oh, Lordy, Lordy. Everyone, just please bear with me. I am, as I said, I am on a device I am not familiar with. Miss, is it a phone? Oh, no, I was using my phone before. Now I am on another laptop. Oh, and another laptop? Yes, because my laptop was not launching, so I'm using another laptop. Um... Okay, please tell me you're able to see this now. At least you can see it. I can see. Yay, finally, we're getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought we were hopeless for today. Okay, so what, what the Google Forms has done, it, it highlighted the responses that were frequently missed. As let me just quickly scroll over those scores. Now, everyone got the first question correct, as well as the second. So overall, we have been doing well. Now, this is where it starts to get tricky, where we started to introduce positive and negative numbers. So now we're looking at what happens when we have negative five plus six. If you were doing your sketch with your number line, and you started at negative five, which direction would you move or should you move to add a positive C? You should move it to the right. All right, thank you, Jada. Next time, remember, raise your hand, okay? Oh, oh, sorry, miss. <laughs> yes. All right. So, and then for the next item, Oh, this, so how, how is it that we got the first one? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am confused now. This item is more difficult than the first one, but yet still 75% of you got it correct. How does that work? I mean, it's a good thing, but how does that work? Uh, maybe maybe we're just doing some hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. Uh, Dante, I think I was hearing you first, and then Jaden. Oh, Miss, Dante, um, I said it was... it's the subject that it you were just talking about. I didn't, the one that was harder, I'm currently doing it, Miss. Oh, so, so it's kind of fresh in your mind, yes, Miss. Okay, all right, yes. so Jaden, he can go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, miss, here's the thing with the first one and this one. 
Mm-hmm. It, the, th- the thing that happened was that I, I just, because it was just neg- two negatives in bracket, I thought the, the brackets wouldn't count at this point because, so it, you could have just seen it as two negatives only with an added. So mm-hmm. it would count. So you would add the five and the six, which would be 11, and then mm-hmm. put it as a negative number. So it wouldn't be that harder. It wouldn't be that harder than the top one. Because okay. the top one, you have to add the, you have to, it's a zero, what, what is it called? As, uh, Miss, can you help me here? I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> oh, you want me to help you now? I think, were you talking about like the zero pairing and stuff? That's the one you're talking? Yes. Yes, Miss. Well, you could use that, but if you use it, then you'll have a positive one. Yes. Because yeah, in truth and in fact, this second item, which is negative five plus negative six, is somewhat more difficult than the first one. But I'm happy, though, that majority of you were able to get it correct. Let's look at the next item. Five yeah. plus... Five plus negative six. Oh, this one was set 50-50. What were the issues with this one? I see it split down the middle. I think I put negative one. Yeah, but why? Because, miss, because the six is in brackets, so you basically start with the six because of the bomb dash rule. Um, so if you start with the if you start with the six, the negative six, and then you add, you're supposed to go right. It, it's negative, so you have the negative six on the number line, and since you're adding, you're supposed to go right. Mm-hmm. So you add up, you bunny hop up to to five, and then you get negative one. Okay, it is interesting that you applied um bombas here. Yes, Dante, go ahead. Uh, I picked negative one because um, my teacher told me that if you have a negative and a positive number and it says add, you're supposed to subtract. Ah, and then when, that, that is good, that is good. All right, so ladies, I just heard from the gentleman. So yes, <laughs> yes, Rachel, just about to, to call you and Harmony out. So go ahead. Okay, miss. So I picked negative one because of like a topic that we're doing in math, like mm-hmm. integers, but it's not the same thing. So basically, um, a positive. If it's positive, it's supposed to be negative. So then you're gonna have to subtract. So when you subtract, you automatically put the sign of the bigger one, and I don't remember, but I think a positive sign equals a negative sign or something like that so you put the um sign of a bigger one mm-hmm. and the bigger sign is six um and when you subtract it you get one so like negative one okay fair enough let me hear from you now harmony miss for this yes. one i put um negative 11. Mm-hmm. i was saying it in a way that um, it's in the absolute value to say five plus six in the absolute value, and then I put the sign of the bigger number. Oh. Okay. But I think you, you may have mixed up the rules just a little bit. Yes, Miss, I saw my mistake. <laughs> All right. So let us go now to the remaining items. And then I think I do have my PowerPoint on the flash drive so as we can do our final overall summary. So the the, the three last items that we have were what we looked at yesterday with multiplication and division. And well, everyone would have gotten this correct because this is the one we have two, both of the terms being positive and our product is indeed 30 positive 30. The next item. Okay, so that means with the rule for working with directed numbers, negative, positive numbers, negative and positive numbers, 
the rule says once you have terms in a multiplication that are both positive or negative, your product is going to be all oh, the dogs. <laughs> your positive. product is going to be positive. Thank you, Jaden. Mm -hmm. If you have different signs, starting off, of course, with at least two terms in your multiplication or division that are positive or negative, remember your answer will be positive. If you have different signs, your answer, your product or your quotient will be in the negative. So the next item that has negative five multiplying positive six, the answer is going to be negative 30. So in other words, you carry out your multiplication, you carry out your division, and then you will choose your sign accordingly, meaning according to the rules that are there for multiplication and division. Any questions so far? No, yes, miss. Please. No, yes, miss. Please. All right, someone said yes. Yes, you have a question. Go ahead. Uh, miss, for that one with the negative five times six, mm -hmm. would, would you, with, with the negative, would you only pay attention to, what? Well, oh, wait, it's negative plus times a positive, right? So in this case, you would only pay attention to the to the negative sign instead of it being uh, positive in this case. Oh, would you? Oh, miss, wait. Let me rephrase. What? What? What if you just multiply the five times the six, which are the positive numbers, and then since the first one is negative, you put negative. Is that would be that? Would that be wrong? in the case of like doing it in the correct way okay whether the first term or the second term is positive or negative you will simply have to follow what the rule says okay so if the rule says you have at least two terms because you know you will take two terms actually carry out an operation so if you have two terms one of the two term two terms is negative then your answer is going to be negative, whether it be division or multiplication, whether it be the first term or the second term, because you know that multiplication is commutative. Okay? Okay, miss. Yes. And then the other rule is that if you have the same signs, whether both the terms are in the negative or in the positive, once you're undergoing multiplication or division, your answer will be in the positive. Okay. Yes, miss. I hope that was a little bit clear for you. Any questions before we go to, I think this is the final item. Any question? No, miss. No, were miss. There, okay, Dante, were there any issues with the final item? Fortify divided by negative nine? Actually, no. Rachel, no, Harmony, miss. Dante? Oh, wait, wait. Yes, miss. Wait, no, never mind. Sure? Yes, miss. <laughs> okay, let me stop sharing this one and move on to the other item.
Right, is everyone able to see me now? Yes, miss. Yay. Yes. Awesome. All right, so I will just go ahead now and look, let us have a look at the summary presentation. Okay, let me know if you're seeing my screen. <laughs> I can see it, miss. All right, great. Yes, I am seeing. All right, so this would be the general rule for working with positive and negative numbers undergoing multiplication or division. So this is what we closed off our session yesterday with, multiplication and division. And then our final, and then we also looked at some question items yesterday. And then our final slide lets us look at the summary of working with Positive and negative numbers undergoing multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. So remember, once you are working with positive and negative numbers undergoing addition or subtraction, the first thing you want to look at is the signs of each of your term in your addition or your subtraction operation. So if you have the same sign, if you have the same signs of your terms in addition, you will simply add them and keep, right? If you have different signs, then you'll just subtract and take the sign of the bigger value. And by taking the sign of the bigger value, in this case, you're thinking of looking at the absolute value and that's the one that you choose the bigger value for then you will see what subtraction entails here oh let me go in slide share and as you can see with the examples that are here once you're subtracting yesterday then go ahead uh, Miss, when this is subtracting a, big, a bigger value, what can you explain what it means? Can you please repeat? I'm, I'm not hearing you so clearly. Say again. Oh, please. sorry, Miss. When it says subtract and take the bigger value, can you explain what that means when you're like working out an equation? Okay. Are you able to see the example that's on the slide? Oh, yes, Miss. Okay. Now, so we have different sets of examples here. We have the one that's on the different sign and we have subtract, and then we have the addition here. So once you have different signs, what you will simply do, it doesn't matter what is there, you just subtract the numbers themselves. So you're looking at the absolute value. So you're forgetting about the signs that each of your terms have. So let's look at these examples in a bit more detail. So we have, let me see, okay. So we have different signs here. We have negative five and we have nine. These signs are different, correct? Yes, Miss Dea. Okay, so in subtracting, usually we are accustomed to subtracting the smaller from the bigger number, correct? Yes, Miss. Okay, so we can subtract five from nine. When we subtract five from nine, what do we get? Four. And negative five and positive now when you look at them as their absolute values you're looking at them without the signs in front of them so you're looking at them as five and as nine their face value five nine 
So if we have five and nine, and we're to even look at which one now has the bigger value, so we're not thinking about negative or the positive, which one would we say is bigger? The I mean the nine. We will say the nine is bigger. And because this nine has a positive sign, we will keep the four as positive. Yes. Also, because addition is commutative, we could write this as nine. Let me get my pen. We could write this as nine plus negative five. Oh dear, <laughs> which is the same as saying nine. Oh dear, take away five. Because once you're adding a negative, you treat that as a subtraction. You're adding in the reverse or in the opposite direction if you're using your number line. Jaden, was that any clearer? Miss, he's not here. Oh my so I think he has... he's rejoining. Oh, he's rejoining? Let me... That means he would have missed all the explanation. <laughs> Jaden, is he back as yet? I'm not no, able miss. to... No, I'm not seeing him. Yeah, he's not back. Okay. But we will continue for the remaining two or three minutes. Okay, but for those of you here, are you following so far? Yes, miss. Okay, great. Yes, miss. All yes, right. miss. Thank you very much. Okay, let me see. So um, closing off with directed numbers, what this has done for us is to help set the foundation for the topic that we are about to start next, which happens to be a topic that a lot of persons do not like. And it starts with the letter A. Algebra. Algebra. <laughs> yes and especially when you have to look at substitution in algebra so monday all being well we will be starting our look on algebra also something that i started yesterday well started last week monday but really introduced it yesterday uh, last week monday we started by begin our classes with a riddle. So, and it should be a math riddle or something that involves numbers. So, you know, to help with the critical thinking or something does, something that's just fun, but it still has to do with math. So, next week, if Jen is on, he should be the one to do next Monday. But if not, the first person out of... Rachel or Dante, since Harmony went today, Rachel or Dante, both of you, whichever of you come first next Monday, you'd have to share a math riddle, just as you would have heard Harmony leading you through your riddle this week, okay? Okay, miss. Yes. Okay. All right, and I'm looking forward to hearing what your riddles are. So just remember, all being well, we'll be starting our look on algebra next week. I do hope that in spite of the technical difficulties that were experienced at the beginning of this session, you were still able to understand and carry out your computations with directed numbers undergoing addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Are there any questions? No, miss. Okay, hearing from one. The, any other questions or any questions, I should say? So Rachel said no. Dante said no. Oh, Harmony. Miss. 
Yes. I would just want to ask if you could like define directly number. Oh yes, oh yes. So directed numbers are positive numbers and negative numbers. So think about all your natural numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six to infinity. And then think of the negatives of those natural numbers. So negative one, negative two, negative three, all the way to negative infinity. So those are your directed numbers. Directed numbers come from the bigger set of integers which means directed numbers is a subset of integers. And integers are your positive numbers, your negative numbers, and zero. Or you can look at it as your whole numbers and then the opposite of your counting numbers. Was that clear, Dante? Yes, miss. All right, great. So once again, all being well, see you next Monday at 5.30. Do enjoy the rest of your evening. Remember to do your homework. All subjects are important. All subjects are equally important. So bye, everyone. Have a good evening. You too, miss. Thank bye, you, my miss. dear. Bye, miss. Bye, my dear.